Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. So today I have a crazy current events video for you guys. Um, if you guys are wondering, this is a series that I do where I just react to ridiculous things, give them my opinion on it while I have some gameplay playing in the background. And so um, in New York City the other day, there was this YouTuber, Twitch streamer, you know, Instagram um, a star. Um, his name is Kai Senat, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, and I have the article, you know, I'll link this article down below and I will also show you guys some video of basically what happened. But um, it says, who is Kai Sanat? A YouTuber arrested after a PS5 giveaway in New York descends into chaos. Over a thousand police officers were called to break up the crowd at the giveaway event organized by the YouTube star. So this guy, I think he's more known for, for Twitch, not YouTube. Um, I actually am not familiar with this channel. If anybody is, let me know down below. I just don't watch a lot of Twitch. Uh, but anyways, about this guy is this guy had done a giveaway where he was trying to give away PS5s, I think computer parts and other electronics, and he told his fans to, you know, meet him in Union Square in Manhattan. And from what I've seen, this guy has millions of followers on Twitch. He's one of the most popular Twitch stars of all time. And it's that doing something like this, especially in a really crowded place like Manhattan, is a terrible idea because you're going to have thousands of people showed up and thousands of people did show up and it basically turned into a riot. People got aggressive. Some people didn't get PS5s, didn't get free stuff. They got pissed off. Punches started getting thrown. The NYPD then realized what happened, that it was a social media star that had caused all this. You had, you know, dozens, if not a hundred police officers that showed up to deal with this. A few police officers actually got hurt. It wasted a ton of police officers' um, uh, resources. It was just a stupid thing that happened. The guy did not have a permit for this, did not plan this with the NYPD, nothing, and this just unfolded into chaos. Take a look at the video right here. And on Friday, we'll be doing a huge giveaway. We're giving away PCs. We're giving away, hold on, hold on. We will be giving away PS5s. A whole lot of that. Chat, we will be at 14 Union Street Park. Union Square, I said Union Street, Union Square Park, chat. This is a group of young people, and we had to be very, very delicate in how we handled this, all right? We wanted the kids to just comply with us and leave, but we were met with a lot of resistance. We were attacked. My older brother just called and told me he saw a video of me getting hit in the head with an object. Um, it, it was a very tough situation out here. Yeah, so th this, w the whole thing was just completely idiotic. It was just stupid. Um, a YouTuber is facing charges of thousands of people piled into a New York square for a console giveaway event that turned into a riot. 65 people were arrested at the gathering that promised free PlayStation 5s on Friday afternoon, 4th of August. The organizer, Twitch gaming streamer Kai Sena, faces charges of inciting a riot and unlawful assembly, among other charges, the NYPD chief of department, Jeffrey Madri, said following the chaos. Video footage of the hyped-up event shows fights breaking out in Manhattan's Union Square, with rioters hurling stones and chairs at police officers climbing onto a subway station entrance and tearing down the metal barriers. Our officers were attacked and we were crushed. We were pushed. I had officers on the floor, Mr. Um, Madri said. You had people who were walking around with shovels, axes. A lot of young people got hurt. 
The 21-year-old who has 5.5 million followers on Instagram rose to fame by creating comedy-based content on YouTube and the streaming service Twitch. In February, he became the most subscribed Twitch streamer of all time and was named Streamer of the Year at the 2023 Streamer Awards. The content creator, famous for reaction and prank videos, attended the State University of New York at Morrisville in 2019 but dropped out the following year to focus on content creation. Senate is part of the YouTube group AMP, Any Means Possible, a six-man comedy group popular with Gen Z viewers. At 1.30 p.m. on Friday afternoon, the New York City Police Department became aware of an influencer who was encouraging all of his followers on social media to come to Union Square in Manhattan, Chief Madry said at a press conference. In a Twitch stream on Wednesday, Sinat said he would be hosting a huge giveaway on Friday, promising computers, PS5s, and other technology to his millions of, of followers. By 3 p.m., the post by Sinat encouraging his fans to attend had gone viral, with thousands of young people flocking to the park for the chance to bag something from the giveaway. Now look... I don't know how many PS5s, how much free stuff this guy had planned, but, you know, if you are this popular on Twitch, and apparently this guy's the most popular Twitch streamer of all time, if you're this popular on Twitch, and you have thousands of people showing up, you know, how much stuff can you actually give away? You know, not everyone is going to get something, and of course people are going to get agitated, and they're going to get irritated and annoyed. Uh, I feel like New York really deserves it, he said in the live stream. Well, you really caused a mess in New York. Soon after Sanat arrived at Union Square, violence broke out with the people throwing fireworks uh, and various objects at each other, and the police, Mr. Madry, reported. A number of people were injured during the chaos, and thousands of police officers were called to break up the scene. Uh, Senat was removed by the police from the park for safety reasons, Chief Madry said. He has been charged with inciting a riot, unlawful assembly... Um, among other charges, the police have said. The police made 65 arrests, including 30 people under the age of 18. One fan commented on Senate's uh, recent Instagram post saying, Bro, you just messed up. Fed's gonna indict you on inciting a riot. They're gonna make an example out of you. So, the reason that he's being charged with inciting a riot is because, think about it this way. He had told, you know, thousands of people, you know, you know, hundreds of thousands of people, actually, because, you know, the post went viral, that he is going to be here giving away free stuff. And this guy's the most popular, one of the most popular Twitch streamers of all time. Of course, dozens of people are, you know, thousands, hundreds of people are going to show up. And this is in New York City, Union Square, one of the most densely populated areas in my entire country in the United States. And if you're giving away free stuff and then somebody, imagine this, that, you know, you're waiting, you're, you're waiting there for hours trying to get something for free. And then the guy in front of you gets a PS5. You don't get a PS5. That person is going to get pissed off and is going to get irritated. And this is probably why punches started getting thrown. And there was people that obviously just showed up there just so that they could partake in the chaos. Uh, there were people that were doing ridiculous things. They were climbing on cars. You know, they were destroying property. I don't know, you know, why these young people were doing all this stuff. I, I don't. But the YouTuber, I will tell you this, should be charged because you he made no attempt to contact the NYPD. He didn't tell the NYPD that he was going to host an event like this. If you were hosting this public of a gathering and you don't inform the police and then something bad happens you know there's tons of people that swarm the streets you know blocks traffic vandalism gets started all because you start up this event yeah you're gonna be charged with this and what i'll say about this is there are better ways to do a giveaway i'll tell you a first come first serve basis like this when, when giving away free stuff this is one of the worst things that you can do and the reason it's one of the worst things that you can do is because it's Tons of people are going to show up, and there's going to be basically a fight on who gets first there. Just think about Black Friday. Think about Black Friday when you have in stores, when you have all those sales, basically, and right when the stores open up. When the stores open the doors, you have, you know, hundreds of people outside, and it's rushing to those big department stores like Walmart, Costco, and those others right when they know the sale is going on. So people are going to rush past each other. They're going to push past each other just so that they can get the sale. And a giveaway like this is really no different, especially coming from a popular, you know, such a popular Twitch streamer like this. So there's other ways to go about this. Now, you're probably wondering, how could he have done this giveaway instead? How he could have done this giveaway instead is what he could have done is he could have done, you know, one of those videos where, you know, people will like, you know, go into supermarkets and they'll tell, you know, shoppers at the supermarket, hey, I'll pay for your groceries or hey, you won this. And just walking up to random people. It's not planned. And just telling them, hey, you won this. And, you know, here's a free PS5. Here's this. Here, here's me paying for your groceries. Stuff like that. That's fine. You know, that's that's not that's a nice thing to do. But it's also not um, it's not going to cause, you know, a riot. It's not going to cause thousands of people to show up to one location. Or better yet, what he could have done is he could have done a raffle instead. He could have done a raffle without having to set up any kind of meeting. He could have just done the raffle, 
and just said, you know, here's, uh, I'm doing a raffle for, you know, how many, you know, 100 PS5s that were giving away or how many, you know, he was planning on giving away. I'm not sure in the amount, but he could just done a raffle and said, here's, you know, who won this, here's who won that, and that. This was just a stupid thing to do. This is something he was doing for publicity. And honestly, I hope he gets, he gets punished to the full extent of the law because something like this is unacceptable. From what I've seen so far, people have gotten hurt, but nobody has gotten hurt to the point of critical condition, which is at least that's a good thing. But still, the guy should be held fully accountable for this. this is ridiculous. And I don't care who this guy is. I don't care if this guy's like, you know, the biggest star on, on Twitch. You know, you caused a riot. You caused thousands of people to show up in an area. Traffic got blocked. Property got destroyed. People started pushing past each other, fighting each other, all for this giveaway, this thing that you did yourself. So yes, he should be punished to the full extent of the law. Let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do drop a like. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day, guys.